Good morning, everybody. It's actually pretty nice out here. It's been a lot warmer lately. I guess we went through the polar vortex, got through the cold part of winter. I don't think we're fully out of it though yet. There's probably another cold snap coming yet. What do you think, Diesel? Diesel, you think we're out of the biggest cold? What do you mean the biggest cold, you mean? I'm tired, I'm still waking up. My words don't work yet. So we're at home today. I'm on my reset, it's a 36 hour reset. That also covers my 34 hour reset for the other side of the border in the US. So I'll be ready to go once we're done here. I'll be leaving tomorrow afternoon. We're stretching our legs a little bit and going somewhere new again. Not new, I've been there before, but I haven't been there in a little while. It's a little further than I usually go. I missed you too. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Make a lease. Gotta be quiet, the baby's sleeping. Diesel, come here. Everybody missed you. Britt's new toy that she's borrowed. Um, apparently the toy room was pretty gross. I'm not surprised. It was a kid's school room before this, I think. Yeah? Pretty nasty. How we need new carpet that? in here anyways. Is that the water from in here? Yeah, it's the dirty water. It used to be clear? It used to be. Yikes. That's a carpet shampooer. Britt is shampooing all the carpets. They look clean, right? But, uh, but they are not. <laughs> <laughs> don't let your lying eyes deceive you. Yeah, every time I vacuum down here, we don't even let the dogs down here, but every time I vacuum, there's a full canister of dust. This carpet great. is gross, but this is really, really cushy, and I don't want to get rid of this. I like this carpet. Yeah, it's nice. So she's taking care of that today. So I've moved my operations upstairs. So while she's shampooing the carpets downstairs, Move my computer and all my stuff up here so I can get some work done. Getting the truck ready to go here. It's time for us to start thinking about getting out there. Running one more cycle of kerosene through the bunk heater. I know, you guys are tired of hearing about my bunk heater. Until it's fixed 100%, you'll keep hearing about it. I'll let you know what works for me. That way, if this thing, this situation ever happens to you, you know what might fix it. So uh, I've, I've cleaned out the fuel filter. I don't think that was the problem. I, I mean, it seemed to help immediately after that, and then it didn't again, so that probably isn't the problem. I think I'm gonna have to replace the whole bunk heater, which if that's the case, I'm not gonna do that until next winter. It's about a $1,200 heater. It's, you can hear it starting up there, right? Let's see if it keeps running. Uh, there's that, or I can get uh, a rebuild kit. I might try that yet. I'll have to take it out of there, take the little soot filter off, maybe replace the glow plug inside there. I could do that yet. That's another option I could do. But that's, a, again, probably in the next couple of months. I don't have any time right now to do that, and I'll have to buy the kit, which isn't too expensive. But, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. See, it seems to be, it starts off just fine. Running just fine, pumping heat into my cab right now. I have it on max. Runs for about five minutes and then just snuffs out. 
I don't know why. But we'll figure it out yet. It shut off again. So the bunk heater saga continues. If you're wondering what brand it is, it's an Airtronic S-Bar type heater, diesel heater. It'll try two more times yet. It tries to cycle up and start three times and then it just gives up. Then I gotta reset it and turn it off and turn it back on and it'll try three times again. But this is the last time I try before I leave. If uh, this pillow here, the shop, I tell you what, this shop is just embarrassing. Oh, we'll get there. But uh, yeah, if if this doesn't work, that's fine. Um, we'll keep working on it. Oh, see, start it up again. But the second time it starts up, it always seems to peter out pretty quickly. And then the third time is the best time. I won't bore you guys with this anymore. I've already gotten comments saying that I, that's all I talk about is the bunk heater. Well, right now in my life, that is the main problem I'm dealing with. So, yeah, it's a vlog. I just share my thoughts with you on the internet. And uh, right now, this is what's sort of dominating my thoughts. Because I don't have any other big, big issues on the truck other than that. And this isn't that big of an issue. I just, eh, I'm trying to get it fixed without paying for a new one. <laughs> that's the problem here. <laughs> I'm cheap, that's why. <laughs> I don't wanna spend the money if I don't have to. I'm really doing everything I can to avoid spending that money on a new bunk heater. But hey, I got it working. I'm in the truck again, obviously. And I got it working just fine again. I got, I finally got the fan motor running on high without it snuffing out. And then I just let it blast the whole time. The, all the way, I'm in Rothstein, Minnesota right now. You'll see this in tomorrow's video. Uh, let it, Blasted it on high heat for about six hours to try to burn the soot off inside the motor, I guess. My next theory. Ran perfect through the whole night. Uh, that was a short little snippet vlog of a little moment here, a little moment there while I was at home. Sort of threw it all together for you. And tomorrow's another short video because we got a little bit of a late start getting going. So, <laughs> spoiler alert, I left my camera somewhere. So... The whole time I was planning this whole vlog out in my head of I was gonna get hooked up to this trailer I'm hooked up onto, let you guys know where I was going, uh, it all fell through and I had to go uh, find my camera. You got to tune into tomorrow's video for that. But I need to get going here, so thanks for watching today's little chaotic video. I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna go do some trucking. <laughs>